Tēnā koutou e te whānau whānui, nau mai hara mai ki te taupo moana record keepers. It is the 13th of February. The year is 2022. The company is Jeffrey Addison, Perry Fletcher and Te Whaitaima Te Whare. We are off to, we are at Motuopa, about to go on our little hikoi. And Perry is going to point out some things to us, for us. My one and this, uh, these reserves, these uh, reserves we're at, came about. Um, the, the Department of Conservation sort of inherited uh, from the time of Lens and Survey. The bully point was the Lens and Survey initially um, Im imposed reserve, hence they took responsibility for the uh, walkways, the trackways. Uh, to, to the play place uh, there at uh, Bully Point. This small reserve, it also includes the rocks and that. Uh, we go up and uh, this uh, view, a view of the um, settlement in the peninsula we're going to, and that also over, uh, overlooks uh, right on top of uh, the cave, the big burial cave that uh, was uh, there. And not only the first paramount chief here, uh, was uh, buried, uh, but um, uh, many, many others in, in, the, in the cave there. I don't recall there being uh, pigment markings or tapu markers at all, but that was uh, just behind the old old motel and, and the units and that uh, that were there. And uh, so we just uh, having a nice, enjoyable little walk. Uh, enjoyable maybe coming down, but uh, as as it says. It's a 20, 20 minute return. Easy. And be worth, worth the effort. So, do you think any of these paths follow the old paths? You know, that have been made? Uh, I like to think so in some places. Mm. I like to think so. I like where we followed along the, the, old, the um, old coach road and I was saying, oh, that's cool. Even just trying to imagine how on earth they managed to navigate that in a carriage, but then I presume oh, there must have been sort of bank erosion over the years. So there should really be a Macron over that path. Uh, yes, but then Macrons weren't necessary when these were put in. It was only the mayor, previous mayor, that wanted the Macrons to change. And me. Change. I got so so you you influenced the mayor. I did. I was working for the council at the time. I wrote letters to the paper even about it. Mm. That's how serious I was, folks. But that that then got changed in recognition around the country. I wrote letters about the H being included in the Wanganui with the um, set of settlements and that there putting reinstate the old name mm. Wong, Wanganui. Yeah, to make it sensical. And I went sensical. back to documents and uh, that right back 1840 mm -hmm. with the uh, WH. And then someone put a A in and it remained it uh, conveniently ever since. Yeah, because it fit with the Te Aoteawa dialect. Mm. Our dialect, we dropped the H's in Te Aoteawa, so it's, but it's still there, it's like, if you're spelling the name Michael, as in Michael Wars, who was one of the greatest oppo opponents of the, That's right. the H, and that idiot has a silent H in his own name that he wouldn't acknowledge as possible in the spelling of, of the word Whanganui. So is this just the stage of the lookout or is this, this the is it. And then we go through. up further behind us. This is just the stage. Is that the um is that closing down that marina or is it another one around here that got the <coughs> got the sign to close? That's exactly what I've, um, I'm talking about. This is where we go over. Yeah. We wait till the lake's low, though. Uh, no, no. I, I, High Lake, you've got that uh, that spit. Yes. That spit uh, connects. That's, that's uh, dry. And this is a uh, marshland in there. Mm. Marshland. And um, 
I've been uh, right through all that marshland and the amazing things that are there in the marshland might be still there when we when go for a walk. What are we talking about? Uh, well I haven't got my photo of them <coughs> and we're not going there today so we'll... Uh, so but that's, that's, this is over this, uh, that area there? That marshland, yeah. it's a far bigger when you get to there we're only looking at a, a distance away and, um, and so where is my camera in my pocket? The, um, all that, all that area there, this is Mochuapa, I've recorded, I don't know, um, you've got it in your book of words. Do you want it? Um, just for the want of something while we're close nice. enough. Nice. This headland, and we angle it off here, this is our uh, where we are, we're, we're up here now, okay? Mm -hmm. We're up here. And here's the cave. Mm -hmm. Here's oh, the wow. cave. We're above the cave. So here's the cave marked here. Mm. We're about here, overlooking this. And that's the headland here. Mm -hmm. And that's why I've been systematically through. And these are, the, um, these are the sites are recorded through. Who would know? Holy cow. No, um, no, that that was left with the uh, Moses people that incurred his wrath because oh, it was made it was made of gold. That's right. With all with all the gold they had stolen from the Egyptians, and had no intention of uh, giving back what they borrowed. So where are we on this map? We 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 are exactly above here. X marks the spot, the cave, Heri Heria's cave. Yes. That's here. I've got all my no, no, noses out, and um, here's the highway just below us. And looking across here, here's the marshland here, and um, on which I've got different sites and features here. And, um, and here, here going over, halfway down that spit here, the causeway, there was an old Murray cow. See where that shadow in the lake is? The shadow. That sh shadow on the lake on the right of oh, that yes, spit. Yes, 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 yes. And just, uh, just in there was an old Murray camp, 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 camp site. Now there's a feature that goes from the lake right across the lagoon and, uh, and um, possibly extends past, goes right across, oh. right across here. I've got uh, different photos and things of which I um, left when home. When you say a feature, what kind of feature? Uh, the feature will be something that uh, will uh, be revealed if we can get access through, walking access, and connect to headland, go halfway across there to the mainland, and um, and I'll, I'll show you when we go over there. Right. On, it's on going our... to be a surprise, folks. That's <laughs> what, what we're, we're finding out. There's no heads up on this one. It's, it's a man-made feature. You can see parts of it extend on a lake this side when the lake is very low. That goes right from the lake where that green shadow is, uh, right across the lagoon. And then there's another one at the end side. Now notice at the end of the lake how the vegetation's different. Why is the vegetation different? When you say the end of the lake. The end, of the, 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 the end of the lagoon. And at the headland there, prior to the lake, you've got the, the headland coming down to Motuapa. And where it drops right down, uh, but just p past the lagoon, yeah. uh, the vegetation's different. Yeah. Yes. Because it was clear felled or burnt off, where it's that, around that bluff, it looks like really old bush. In fact, all of the bush around here looks quite recent, you know, 20, 30 years old even, maybe 15. Look, 1880, uh, you had, um, you had Kerry Nicholl wrote a book ride through the disturbed districts if you can't point that out i've probably got the book that you can take a um, photo of for archives don't believe what i say but he remarked coming right through here hearty murray right through here and he remarked that all all along there all along there all that frontage there the massive The, um, all along there, 
that's where the uh, vegetation ends at the end of that spit, connecting spit, and from there, right along in front to that older vegetation, were massive terraces, cultivation terraces. And having come Auckland all over the place, they were the most impressive he saw that he re remarked and put in his book about the massive uh, ir irrigation cultivation terraces that went all, all along there. Um, it might be possible that we could drive so far and then walk along the lake to get to, uh, to that side, to get that, that side, but um, won't know until, um, until we uh, see how far the uh, tracks, vehicle tracks go. I wonder if there's a track leading in from there as well. Uh, well, that's what I'm hoping. And if it isn't, uh, what's a bit of um, a bit of uh, manuka to deter me? So we're not going to do that this trip, are we? Uh, well, you you you're going to Auckland today, so we um, no this this will be a separate section. But the surprise here is these are the sites I've recorded. These are the sites I've recorded right through, mm -hmm. and right up, right up before the hill, you've got that hill at the peak. The peak of the hill yes. but don't look at the peak of the hill it's what down and and the learned eyes will pick up uh, subtle changes in vegetation yes, I can see. and that, that to me <laughs> uh, pick, picks up uh, relevant uh, particularly got a clearing a clearing foot of the hill there mm. and that's a uh, that's uh, marks out a, um, a another, another site and um, and over above the lake past the headland point there's a significant uh, ditch par, mm -hmm. ditch par there. Jeffrey, can you take a photo of this? Um, my SD card isn't in my camera, unfortunately. And when I get when I get my um, when I get my um, probably pick up in the morning, yeah. uh, hopefully my fixed um, yes. scanner, yes. I'll be able to do that uh, here. That would be good. I um, thought, but here, this marks another smudge around the lake area. Yes. And with that smudge, add behind us further down, because when we uh, leave here, we'll look at um, we'll we'll look at uh, the end end of the reserve before we um, we um, head head back. So that's what they call Stump Bay here, and the bay here sheltered our position. Isn't it? Add connecting that. It's all wetland basically, all, all the way down toward uh, uh, toward uh, the Tongariro prison farm areas and that. It's all, all uh, basically wetland. So this is um, the connecting and uh, Motuapa uh, gives a history of the uh, the tribes that were here and how, how they connect and uh, and uh, go go uh, through and uh, had and, and controlled, controlled this uh, area and district. Um, almost uh, detached from uh, Motuteri as uh, Motu Terry itself, uh, with uh, Robert's uh, family at Hallett's Bay, have, have their own uh, sections and history and uh, hup, hup, um, uh, group groupings. Uh, so what? Um, so what? What do you? Uh, what do you think of that? So this area cave here is uh, what? Um, what uh, was the first Paramount chief, and many others were b buried and placed in. What if two furry tiles down there, the first paramount chief, is buried here? And then if you go straight, your eye is straight over from where he's buried, why well, the first paramount chief is buried here, what do you look at in the distance of the lake? Can you see that in the lens, Tama? What he's talking about? Over past the headland, right in the headland. you pointed it out once before. In, in line with the poplar tree, the poplar tree there, yes. and way in the distance, uh, yes. what 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 are we looking at? Are you looking at the cleared, cleared field? Whangarehu? Uh, no, the, the headland again go bumps up and drops right down to the lake. It looks like it's got terraces uh, that's, up the top and down. The that, that's, the that's not in this bay, that's at the other side of the lake. Come on this side, Free. Are you talking about on the, just the behind the poplar tree? No, way in the distance, about uh, about uh, 15 miles away from us. Uh, 15 miles away. Are you talking about the little points, the little kind of... Way on the other side of the lake. Yes. The lake. Yes. All that headland there. The 
to know the significance of why people like the Paramount was buried here and not there, Tongariro, in anywhere else, is why here? And um, so that's again a question of contextual sort because the tribal group here were not uh, Tukuritaa, but he um, over there looks at uh, Karanga Hape. That's Karanga Hape. And on our journeys, and this is where from there that area uh, 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 got bestowed the paramount sea. The paramount sea for in the paramount sea, then by default, default underline. Uh, became the uh, the stepping off place for uh, Tatufo Retire south of the uh, wine, wine Marino through his influence his influence but his influence was a hard struggle and the people that objected to his mana being bestowed as paramount was the Nati Tikohira Nati Tikohira and they certainly did not see themselves as two for a tire, uh, but uh, but the um, but here we are, got the paramount sea from the um, from the Rangitira there. That when it was offered by the people in this district, um, he said to them, "Why?" He sent them back on their boats and say, "Why give me what I already have?" But um, the politics, and uh, that uh, is a predecessor. For the paramount sea was uh, Rangi Tua Matu Toru. The Rangi Tua Matu Toru before Hiri. And he had the dominance all of the Karangahapi in the areas of Aira, uh, Tikohira, and others. And so by default, rejecting them and sending them back, that Hiru uh, got the uh, first paramount sea through that action. Wow. So they are the, they are the poor cousins regarding the, um, the uh, pick, picking order and dominance. And so I'm talking that because immediately down below us is the cave, this uh, burial cave. But now, what acknowledgement, signage, Tuwhiri Tower, contact, your journey in that, you go to them and they neither want to know and neither will they share and what have they got to share. If they don't share nothing, why aren't they then cooperating with the uh, information gathering, signage and everything else, and working in, because we're on Dock Estate, and Dock now um, can't say anything or, or do anything under, uh, under their, whether it's artefacts or information or anything, uh, under, under their um, uh, dominance and, um, and uh, censorship, for want of a better word. But it doesn't stop us as independently pointing out and knowing and, uh, and um, that of, of these uh, places. Because the, if we ever get on the boat and look at the walker in the lake, no, that's not walker, that's Mars. <laughs> that's Mars there. Mm -hmm. It's uh, like Jeffrey's the Mast at, um, what at are uh, the Redoubt. The are they like nets? Or... Well, that, 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 that's why I say. Oh, um, that's why I point out to you about the um, Sentinel Waka. There, uh, there's um, now over here, over here. When we go to the far side, the first area of greenery, you've got to Topu uh, over there due north, and the first cleared area there is uh, for Kaipo Bay. You feel all, all oh, that. Yes. So we start getting into a very big area, don't we? For the inland sea, very big area, and and that's where we um, we said about the connection with uh, Ruahuata, those areas that's there, right. and um, and the um, and the sharing and the trading exchanges, and the people coming down here, and uh, and all, all this area of lake, uh, past uh, past there, you've then uh, got uh, you've then got uh, from uh, for Kaipo. Uh, at for Kaipo, and then you go to uh, Kinlock, and then round the corner, way past there, you go, you start going to the western bays. And so, so wonder 
there were so many pa of people in the, all, all around the lake one time just to control and uh, safeguard their area, areas. Um, so, um, so what do you think of that? It's not, it's, uh, you're more put off by a Google map of this. Look like you're looking at the interior of the Amazonian uh, jungles to actually know and find and um, and uh, rec record all this. Um, That's why they're all hidden treasures. Two furry tar at one time wanted to bulldoze all that corner out and turn it into a marina. Too Why should there be a marina here? We'll, <laughs> we'll do our own caching. And, um, and uh, they got a little bit upset uh, by a comment I had to have. So that was another um, invitation I never got for their Christmas. They come up with concepts. It, uh, bulldoze a Bushman mentality ruin an area, find it's not feasible, not even zoned or permitted, and then walk away shaking their heads until... But the precious ones we got on this side, and we'll see a little bit further up, is the wetlands, um, uh, Makari, Rangitohere, got uh, for ducks unlimited. Through the wetlands? <coughs> is, there any, is there any way to... Just uh, not over there, the I don't think. I'm not, not aware of. Yeah, there was there was a bit of, there was a bit of a track and a signage at uh, one one time. At, um, okay, so where to where are we going now, next? Uh, we can go a little bit higher. See, just over here. Yes. So that's why I pointed out about the burial cave and that. I, I don't need a compass. I know what I know, but. Um, Yeah, cliff, that's for sure. It'd be hard to access. Well, the cave. The... What you want, really, for a burial cave? Up the top here. Uh, we'll, we'll do a little drive up. Okay. We'll do a little drive up, easy and walking. Eh? That, that, that's when the sign goes, the other sign and track goes up to, um, to the uh, settlement that way. So okay. we're still by no means way up top, are we? No. But. Um, I think we should go away down because it's going to rain on you. Well, well, when we went to the Paramount Chief and Chris Jolly boat, half the Māori with us, for claimant representatives, had never been on the lake, and quite a few sections had never been over Western Bay. And when they were there, they didn't have a clue where they were, and yet they had office of treaty settlements and everything else, our land and everything else. It was just, just, um, but we'll deal with that on our boat trips as well. 